seven Palestinians were killed, while over 200 others were injured as protests along the Israel-Gaza border resumed for the second consecutive Friday. Several were left seriously injured after being wounded on their heads and upper body. They were taken to the hospital while several others are being treated for smoke inhalation. The protesters have been demanding that refugees be let to return to their ancestral lands, which is under Israel's corrupt uh, occupation since Israel was created in 1948. Palestinian protesters have set hundreds of tires on fire along the border to create a smoke scare, a, a, a smoke screen so that Israeli snipers find it difficult to target protesters. Palestinian protesters, however, have maintained that Israeli forces are targeting unarmed protesters who pose no threat, facing criticism from, from various quarters, including human rights groups within Israel, was censored by United Nations High Commission for Human Rights too. The spokeswoman of the Human Rights Watchdog warned that under international law, firearms could only be used as a last resort when there is an imminent threat to death or serious injury. Now the death toll in the protests along the Gaza-Israel border to mark the land day has now risen to 24. Since the beginning of the protest on March 30th, land day came to be observed from March 30th, 1976, when a Palestinian citizen, when six Palestinian citizens of Israel were killed by the Israeli forces when they protested against alleged land confiscation. The day has since been marked with protest by Palestinians for the last 42 years, wherein they denounce Israel's policies of taking over Palestinian land.